Hello everybody, welcome to the first round match between Purple Chest and Agrelius. Uh, Agrelius and his halflings, Purple Chest and his dwarves. In the booth with me is Kalon. Hello. Hello. Uh, great to be here. Thanks very much for having me along. Um, yeah, thank you very much, Kalon, for joining. No bothers. Uh, yeah, sure. I was just going to be sitting here watching the game anyway, so I might as well come in and uh, uh, talk at you. <laughs> yeah, you like talking, don't you? <laughs> sure. I, I wouldn't be averse to a bit of chat. <laughs> uh, cool. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a shit draw for Agralius, the poor fella. Um, well, yep. <laughs> How's that for timing? Uh, so, second time in a row, he uh, he, he ran into uh, PC and in the first round. Yeah. So well, luckily yeah. for him, PC rarely uses dwarves and is rubbish at Blood Bowl, so you know this is a great, great draw for Agrelius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe not so much. Um I mean it's a pretty fantastic kick, so there's something there. Yeah, yeah. He literally um, well he doesn't have to GFI, he could if he doesn't GFI for it, he could just lob a fling and score that's, instantly. That's exactly it, yeah. So you can see that the screen that he's presenting here is uh, such that he will make it more tricky for the, the a, a fling to be flung. A fling to um, be flung. Because yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty shit. Uh to have you know <laughs> just instantly have a, a, a fling land, pick up the ball, and uh, score. Yeah, yeah, he had four rerolls, so he was always going to GFI, wasn't he? I didn't, he must have won yeah. one off kickoff. Cause... Wait, there it wasn't a it. chef? Oh. Well, no, there was not a chef. But there is a willow. Yeah. Well, I'm not an expert, but I think that's mental. <laughs> yeah, Willow's the same as a chef, right? Willow's one six, one sixty. Yeah, more than a chef. Yeah, I guess the thing is, I guess the thing is, he thinks he doesn't need rerolls anyway, right? Because he's got block and on every hit. So yeah, and he already yeah, had play. three, and he couldn't get rid of one of them, right? Because one's a mm -hmm. leader, one's a leader reroll. Yes. Um, so he could only rob two off him. Yeah. Um, and and Willow's not terrible. Yeah. I mean, he's not good, but he's not terrible. Yeah. Uh, sorry, she. Yeah. Because it's just a, um, it's a, uh, it's a word answer. Oh. Wow. Oh man. It's not a word answer. It's a, it's a dryad, but it's a dryad. Yeah, yeah, but a word yeah. answer uh, skin. Yeah, but it's, yeah, uh, yeah. Willow, Willow herself is a, uh, is a dryad. Yeah. You've got to, you've got to gender imaginary characters correctly. <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was kind of fun as well, because at the time they made Willow and Zara at the same time, right? So, uh, one's Willow Rosenpark, which is an obvious reference to Willow from Buffy. Yes. And uh, Zara is Buffy. Yes. Yes, which is why they got rid of Zara in the new rules, finally, because it was all a bit fucking ridiculous, wasn't it? <laughs> she's, uh, she's Carla Von Kill now. Yes, well, I mean, they've got rid of, they've got rid of Zara, haven't they, completely? Uh, there's no they sticks. Have, yeah. There's no sticks no, well, or there's no stab stakes, anymore. No. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, she has stab. No. She does, yeah. No. She has stab. No. Okay. I literally have a real book right here. Okay. I can't wait to be. Right, I'm gonna look it up. Can't wait to be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she got rid of the um, the stakes. Yeah, they got rid of stab too. Jeez, they did get rid of stab. Mm. I I, I did I did glance I, yeah. <laughs> I did here, glance at the rubric once. Mm, really? Oh really, Kaylon? Mm -hmm. Oh, my name's Jimmy and I'm amazing. I'm so fantastic at everything that I know all of the rules immediately. Uh, yeah, well done. Yeah, I, I can admit when I'm wrong. It happens so seldom that I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's the thing. I've I've always thought it was weird when people like refuse to admit they were wrong or like you know <laughs> things like that. It's like or ask questions. And I'm like, I remember when you know when I was little and they said like, don't be afraid to ask questions at school. I'm like, why yeah. would you be afraid? to ask questions of course you don't yeah. know that's why you're there like for fucks like exactly what the hell it, yeah. mm -hmm. insane so yep you were right uh, fair play to you um, I, that's a really big surprise I knew that she was cheaper but everybody's cheaper yeah, yeah. yeah. so no stakes at all no. uh, Zara the Slayer 
or Zara the Zara, what's what's she called? Carla von Kill. Yeah. So she's still pretty good. Um, she's really, really cheap. Yeah. Two ten is really cheap, and uh, the Dauntless is a bit shit on strength four, but well, she's bludge and jump up. Mm. And uh, yeah, what's her feet? Uh, it means she can it, it, once per game she can triple her strength instead of doubling it when oh, she. That's uh, right. Yeah. 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 So pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, actually, so it actually makes the Dauntless actually good, right? Because uh, yeah. like it's it's usually a bit shit, but the occasions when she'll get to use it are actually are actually going to be very impactful. Yeah, because she can three dice more. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah! It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. So uh, yeah, there's a game going on. Which probably. Um, I mean, we don't have to. <laughs> no, <but> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> Once I set my alarm and that, I set my alarm and like, oh my god, it was so bad today. I, I went to bed at midday. <laughs> like, what the hell? I couldn't sleep again. I just randomly, I couldn't sleep. So I, I, I've literally gone to bed at like midday. Didn't get to sleep till after half twelve. So I've mm -hmm. had like uh, set my alarm for half three. So I've had three hours sleep, and then like. After I got up, like after I'd got up and I was about to start the stream, I realised it was bloody flings versus dwarves. So what the fuck is the <laughs> point anyway? <laughs> uh, it's it's great for both of the lads to have their game streamed live, and uh, especially for PC. I'm surprised he didn't uh, cast it himself, but uh, maybe wasn't able to find some people to come in to the booth for him. Uh, well, sad times, but um, yeah, at least we're here doing this. So, <laughs> Tree's obviously doing a fantastic job. If these guys weren't dwarfs, they'd probably be um, in, in more of a, a shit situation because he's getting the constant uh, stuns. Mm. He has just kind of removed himself from the situation, um, just trying to block off and try not to give away more hits on his dwarf, on his uh, squishy little flings, which is not a bad idea, really, I suppose. Yeah. Because um, does he want to put any pressure on the ball? PC has no intention of scoring early. Well, he might, though. It's a lot of space to give PC, right? Yeah, maybe. I think PC could be could be prone to the old trap space, couldn't he, if anything? Yeah. I think, like, you know, and I know that sounds stupid, trying to trap somebody who's so good, but mm. seeing as he does like taking space so much, he could be. Yeah. And, like, this isn't trap space, obviously, because this is just free space, because halflings are terrible and have no chance of exactly. dwarves. But yeah. if you had a real team and a real mm. chance against PC... Then maybe mm. you could try and like you know show a bit, show a bit down there, and like, yeah, you know, yeah. maybe he's getting down, maybe he's getting down the side uh, a bit too early. Mm -hmm. I've, I have often thought that may be a weakness of PC since he started streaming and watched his games more. Cause like you know, he's just mad for space. Like if there's any space yeah. presented, he'll just go for it straight away. I, which is, I mean, you know, largely a very good thing, especially when you're playing dwarfs. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, he gets to shove his lad out here if he wants. He would have done, yeah. He's not going to now. Oh, he's going to! Wow! Yeah, gonna, yeah. Wow! Turns down the uh, well, He wasn't blitzing block hit. Blow, I guess. Yeah, I guess it, okay, it wasn't. It wasn't yeah. It wasn't with my evil blow, so it's, it's It helps easier. the rest of the, the screen and everything as well. So, mm. um, you know, unfortunate, but the push is probably fine because he wants to get his guy back. Okay. It's a, it is a beard as well. It's not a... Blitzer, or is it, it is a blitzer, so he no, could have taken the three plus dodge off if he wanted. It's a long beard, is it? Okay, yeah. I can't see properly. Can the yeah, yeah, it's... the thing in Discord is just so terrible. Yeah, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, it's a long no, beard. You're fine, it's not your fault, it's just Discord uh, isn't good at streaming games. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it does give me my favorite there. moment of every stream when I get to tree. click a button that says hide members. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think if he'd got Mighty Blow, maybe he would have taken the ball down, right? But I think yeah, without yeah, Mighty I think Blow, so. I think, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I like that he's given away this hit on the... Um, uh, with the, the well, outside of the really good lad that, 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 that he managed to get back in, uh, the other guys that are getting hit are mostly just kind of shitter men. Yeah. And he's not going to get anything out of these either. Other than to remove them a little bit from the situation. Oh, he he yeah, he that was the blitz with, with the tree. With the tree. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose he wasn't able to get a nice tree, did he? Well, he could have done. Yeah, he could, yeah. <laughs> it would have been a GFI, though, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a GFI. It was, this guy goes in there and then you blitz with the block tree, but it's a, it's a, mm. just a GFI. And this way, at least he can get them into position. 
Man, trees are so good, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> like it, 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 halflings, even even for dwarves, halfling can be a pain, right? Because you can't stop the trees hitting you, and uh, and you know you're pretty slow. So like it, it it can be tricky. I was when we did the BBSL, got nearly said storybook brawl again. When we did the BBSL, I was terrified of losing to Nari, and like I really thought he had a yeah. chance to beat me. Which uh, yeah. you know sounds stupid, obviously, because I had dwarves and he had halflings. <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, like, if you talk to guys who are like legit Flynn coats coaches, they'll they they're not too put out, and not like a oh, um, Amazon's actually prefer like the matchup versus dwarves because that's actually bollocks. Um, I'm sure I'm sure those coaches do because they're ridiculously good. Yes. But um, uh, halflings uh, versus. Um, uh, dwarfs isn't that terrible a matchup. Obviously, it's bad because you've got all of the halflings, but the trees are just so good at neutering um, really slow, really unagile pieces. Mm. So if you if you make mistakes, you're you're easily able to uh, be outmaneuvered. Yeah. But I mean, it's still uh, pretty fucked for the halflings. <laughs> ah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, Gralius is a pretty good coach and. Has done very well in Chalice before. Notable uh, lizard run. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 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 PC on dwarfs yeah. with such a small team that he isn't even getting decent inducements. Yeah, because you got a block tree and you've got like well, two, both of those trees have three skills. You've got that agility lad on the pitch. You've got another really nice agility fling off yeah. the pitch. Yeah, so, better agility fling off the pitch. Yeah, which is kind of fine. He's he's good for the fling. Yeah. Oh, is that why they're called flings? <gasps> no, no, because they're halflings. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. would be cool, though. But maybe when Tolkien made them, <laughs> oh, yeah. he, he thought, there'll be a fantasy football game eventually, so I'll call yeah. them flings so that when you fling, you fling them. Yeah, because obviously you have trees that hang out with them, and the trees are definitely the lads that go flinging them. Yeah. 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 A fling was flung. Yeah. There you go. Oh, is that why oh, they have yes. tree men because of Lord no, of the Rings? I, I have no idea. I think it's to, is it not to do with the, the lore because there are there are different tree men as well, which is another kind of nice little thing in the new rulebook. Um, that uh, the tree men are different the fact that in uh, race of tree men, uh, depending on who they play for. There are 3, so they're Lauren Forest tree men that play for the Wood Elves, which is why they're loners. So if the kangaroos decide to invade Uruguay, other tree men that appear in all of the other ones don't have loner. Um, and are thus Athel? Is that what yes. called? And Athel? also, also uh, the other treatment don't have timber. Timber is the big deal, yes. 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 Yeah, they don't yeah. have timber. Timber is, timber is pretty massive. Because timber on the OWA makes OWA just amazing, you know? Mm. Way! Way! Yeah, jokes, jokes, jokes. They do build well, OWA. I know they're really shit, but they don't build well for now. Mm. That's another, that's another issue. In Lord um, of the Rings, they are NC Pleb. Hello, Fall Force. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for 35 glorious months. And thanks for the amazing information about if kangaroos yeah. decided to invade Uruguay, each Uruguay would have to fight 14 kangaroos. I find it hard to believe that there's 48 million kangaroos in Australia. That seems like that, that too many. But, I mean, maybe it's true. But that seems too many. It's pretty big. But it like you, you, you'd imagine, and I mean, I mean, they obviously lose some to drop bears every year. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Are you a kangaroo expert now? <laughs> no, I've never, I've never professed to be a kangaroo expert. <laughs> <laughs> not even a stun on that flip. I'm not breaking mighty bow. I'm not, I'm not breaking armor. Mm. Oh, Willow's Willow. coming in, Willow. Yep. See the players, uh, check the lines, confirmed yeah. all this was fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, I love that. I don't know if a Fiburito obviously sucked off an admin or something. <laughs> yeah, chances are. <laughs> Always getting I in the way of just Mac, punching somebody. Not, to, uh, not, not because it's PC. Yeah, uh, no, he probably, yeah. chances are anyway. <laughs> just for fun, but then when you add that he's got the match, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Sir Strumming in his uh, ludicrous uh, draw against um, Yodlikar. Yep. Yeah. There's only one way you get that match. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, God. Wow. This, this is a disaster for the Flames. Yeah, it's pretty horrible, isn't it? <laughs> two send-offs. On another day, again, they're two Kaz, right? Yeah, oh, exactly. It's like, it's just, just one of them games. Diced. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, there's still a bit of a game in it. Uh, there's a lot to be done. Um, even if he does go over, like, I mean, yeah, he can hold this out pretty well. But he um, doesn't want to make the cage too tight, lest he be um, assailed by, uh, uh, you know, missiles. Mm, and break tackle um, tree, right? It's He really need to get these trees in more. Like, that, that, that um, stand firm pulling up both trees was brutal. And it's like yep. he's got to get the trees in because they've got break tackle. They, you know, they can they can hit the cage if they can just if you can just maneuver them. I think that's maybe a failing of Agrelius. Uh, yeah. You know, like you know, you, you can say goodbye PC, but I feel like you know the onus is on Agrelius to get his trees involved because of the break tackle. They can they can do things, and you know, Moosey should have you know worked harder to get them in. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, keeping keeping his distance pretty well. Um, you know, only one reroll, or oh, sorry, only two rerolls for Agrelius as well. Mm. Um, maybe not wanting to activate them hugely because of the uh, the, the risk of them taking root. And also, um, like, he has put six dice into that guy, and he keeps on just standing back up. <laughs> yeah. He got one stun on him so far, and he's been hitting him with, like, two trees for multiple turns. And maybe that's the plan as well, is to just keep wailing on that stand firm, because that stand firm he knows is going to be something, something that'll... That'll ruin his day. I mean, that should not be his plan to get both both trees stuck at a stand firm. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, and, then the, and he's only got one reroll, right? Because he has to save one for the one turn, like because that's so much better chances of working than anything else. <laughs> Huge non-stun. Shocker. Yeah, massive non-stun. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty annoying. Um. I mean, it's still a 3D uphill, so he's. I mean, well, he might just do it he anyway. He can dodge. He could dodge for a 2D uphill, couldn't he? But it's dodge, so he wouldn't, you know, yeah. he wouldn't do anything anyway. Better off just throwing the, the 3 plus. But it's the, good that he's there. Yeah. It's good that he's there, and, and like, he's mm. there, right? The thing is, he's there. He doesn't have to stand him up. He's just mm -hmm. there now. So he's in the right place, which is going to make it a little bit uncomfortable for PC. He can just. The fact he's occupying a square that he can't move him from. Yeah. It's pretty nice. So first of the rerolls used by PC there on the four plus dodge, and it is successful. Mm. Still has three left. Halflings are a bit funny though, anyway, aren't they? Because I've just re I just realised even if he had forced him in in four or whatever, so flipping what you know, like it's a two turn is about as easy as a four turn anyway, right? For fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, their, their offense is just so. Here we go. Terrible. You said you were whirling on him. He didn't do anything, but now yeah. he has. But it's a badly hurt. So PC will apple this instantly. There we go. Apo in use. Mm. And uh, you can tell he's a pro because he didn't choose the dead. Mm. Oh, it was, it was actually a perm, not a dead. But yeah, he chose the correct one anyway. Yeah. Ooh, instant stun from Willow. Mm. Reroll's got to go in here as he double GFIs to blitz this uh, blitzer. Uh, yeah, I think so. Whoa. Um. Okay. I guess just to see if you word, word. just to see if he was oh, take root. I guess. Gonna root or not? Yeah, yeah, cool. And uh, hello, I'm a tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah so pretty, I guess he uh, would have rerolled the take root and then not blitzed and just based the tree, uh, based the lineman. Like I guess if he'd used the reroll on the take root, he'd have just gone to there. Yeah, got gotcha there. Him. Yeah. Yeah. And just not blitz. Mhm. Mm Seems fair. Good cover. That's what I so, think. So, fair play. <laughs> is, that what you think? is that what you think? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think you might have to stand up the um, the lad that's in base contact now, uh, just to provide him with a little bit more dice to roll. No, I, I like uh, I like leaving I him down. I like leaving him down because that's. Well, he just he'll just score now, though, right? Well, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's kind of what you want. Yeah. Yeah. If you stand him up, he just gets splattered. And then, like this is really good because then then he can be off the pitch. Whereas now he can't be off the pitch, right? So, yeah, he'll he will just run over. Yeah, that was. The... 
four squares away from the tree, so he can't get blitzed, yeah. but he, he can't get based by the tree, which is interesting. Yeah, he's, I mean, Willow's also a bit of a nuisance, you know? I know it's Blodge mm -hmm. and stuff, and Willow doesn't have any stuff, but, you know, mm -hmm. she's no slouch. Yeah. Does he fight this tree? Ooh, I think he maybe he can't afford to. I don't yeah, think got, so either. He's got three players on it, hasn't he? So I guess he does. Yeah. So he might. It might be in a way. It might be almost easier to fight it than run away from it. But uh, I mm. think he probably won't fight it. And well, that failed dodge from that uh, the the last moving fling as well means that the um, the guard can reposition itself. But then you're leaving yourself open to it just getting swarmed by the ball getting swarmed by a bunch of skinks. Hmm. <laughs> And, uh, yes, yeah, but for, this, for, is, for this is just this. better. Yeah, get rid of this prick. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, that was a big sad about that failed dodge, wasn't it? Was it exposed? Yeah, it was too. massive. Yeah. And again, like you said, with the so few rerolls, he needs one. Oh. For a potential, that's Apple. massive. I think so. Oh, it's an MNG. Um, Apple works though. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I mean that's you've got the first right? time. We've got the other lovely guy on the fling on the on the sideline though as well, right? Yeah, but it's also um, numbers like he's he's already yeah. lost three. Yeah, fair play. He's and probably it, there, not going to get a tree cast. <laughs> there's only two guys you're worried about hurrying, yeah, because yeah. you're not going to get the tree cast. Yeah. So all of, all of that is fine. It's not the first time, however, this chalice that we've seen a bunch of people put the amp apo in on an MNG, and mm. I think so far they've all been successful, which is super interesting. Yeah, because it, it's a four plus, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, we've seen it in a in a bunch of the other games. Yeah. Oh wow. Fuck off, HDK. Too soon, man. Too soon. <laughs> and it might not be dead. It might not be dead. Even though, you know, it is. It might not be. <laughs> well, gets the four plus with the reroll, fails the three plus. Mm. Diced. But PC gets the air. Uh, gets the screen. He like does. you know, so it's a double dodge to base the ball kind of thing. It Very is. good. But, I mean, you could still try the double dodge, right? You could try the blitz, do the dodge, and it might be a five or six. Which yeah, if you get the you get the five or six, it's pretty great. Take root on the other tree, skillfully getting the uh, one out of the way on a uh, on the other tree when it doesn't matter. Mm. So break tackle is used there, so he did use it on the dodge. So he's instead going to hit the guy in front. Which is a pretty nice target, the backup ball runner. Armor yep. 8. Gets him. See us after Nelisius. But yeah, the, um, if you can't get Willow uh, out and around, which you can't because Willow's agility. Three. Two. Three. Oh, three. Okay. Two, three, four, five. GFI. Yep. Oh, God. Oh. Diced. Thank you had one job. <laughs> and does he put the loner reroll into this is the question and why we're waiting because it is a tricky one decides not to so stall on we've got a tree stuck in midfield we've got uh, some bios who can get stuck in on the other tree there and this lad can just fuck the fuck off to the right yes <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you for GFIs there, Willow? Do you want to take another couple? <laughs> uh, she, uh, can, she can't even. She can only. Uh, she can yeah. only base. Yeah, can't even. Not even. That's anyway. a lovely. That's a lovely square. So now I can just uh, Fuwa can just uh, yeah. screen punch like all, all the grid is now is punching right. He's just gonna yep. lie down with this this one halfling that's left lies down and this tree punches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty fair. With the screen set up there, if you can get the dodge out, no, you don't want to let because it is a double dodge through, right? So you can probably actually afford to go and do the um, the dodge off at the end of this. Oh yeah, I mean you'll dodge just to give up the mighty blow hit. Yeah. Because you know, because if he roots on a blitz, he can't hit at all. Whereas if he roots on yeah. a block, he can still block. So you, you yeah, definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. dodge off. Yeah, and has the reroll for it. Doesn't get the 75%. It is what it is. The ground, as you said, does not have mighty blow. Hmm. Uh, whichever one, probably both of them. Oh, I hate this. It's doing this. Yeah, I said tree and I said tree. 
<laughs> there aren't three trees there. There's only three of them. There's no, two trees. Two trees. Two trees make six. I don't yeah. even like standing him up. Don't, just don't stand up. Stay down. Yeah. Stay down, man. I better foul this way. But... Yeah, but stay down. He's arm a nine, thick skull. You've just got a guy mighty bold. Yep. Ten and ten, or pen and pen. Pen and pin. Uh, he didn't the... even throw him. He didn't even throw no, him. No, didn't even. No. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Carry on! Carry on! Like, that was actually one of the ways he could win, right? Like, you know, if you love yeah, this fling that, yeah. to yeah. here, he scatters onto him, mm -hmm. casses him, and then you've stopped the score. Yeah. Maybe. That was, like, actually a way to, to stop the score. Yeah, fair play. Like, I prefer that to, to this foul and getting this guy Mighty yeah. Blood guaranteed. Yeah. And once you've got this guy up and he is getting hit with Mighty Blow on, on three dice, then then you might as well love this guy because who cares if he dies? You've got, you've got men for the second half. I was about to say there's no tackle on this hit, but the three dice work as soon as you get some of the full yeah. pow. And there's another, uh, another KO roll to be made. Mm. Pretty good news for Agrelius, to be fair. Not being a, you know, a four plus is a lot better than a he's dead. Yep. So, yeah. And over he goes on turn eight. Crazy Lisk, the man himself, getting the first of the touchdowns for today. Yep. The first of two. <laughs> yeah. His <laughs> PC wins chance two now. <laughs> uh, yeah, chance, chance. <laughs> Three thirds, yeah. Thir Thirty-three and a third is the one that uh, people always ask me to say. Oh. Thirty-three and a third. <laughs> there was a uh, there was an English uh, rugby centre called uh, Billy Twelve Trees, <laughs> who we used to call Thirty-six. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah. Oh. What are the funny Welliers and why I like? Uh, there's, you know, that's a pretty, pretty distinct accent. Although you don't really have it. When did you lose it? Did you have it in school? I, I never, I, I never had that big an accent because my, my dad's a Cockney. Oh and, really? Yes, and my mum's, I was a Geordie, and then I was at school. And yeah. I, ne I never had, I never had a, a like a proper Geordie accent. And then I, I hung around with, a, with a proper, a proper Geordie Geordie for a little bit like I was friends with him and my mum my mum was sad because she thought I might start talking like it like I started to talk more broad then when I hung around with him and my mum was good right. and she thought that I might uh, might get the accent more because she thought it was a terrible <laughs> accent um, and then I, I stopped hanging around with him and uh, didn't get it and then when I was 10 I moved to Darlow so um, that, that yeah. you know I've probably got you know yes yeah. yeah, so that, that yeah that's, that's why I never really Got it. I might have done if I'd stayed there. I might have got it more. I used to. There was a. There was a lad I used to live next door to in my hometown, um, uh, who was uh, who had moved there. He's a Geordie who um, fell in love with a local girl and uh, and had moved in. And man, that guy's accent like was just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I'm a mountain for a canny bag of shooter. <laughs> and the whole thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, great crack. Cause this stuff you kick, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> sing, uh, we used to get drunk at the karaoke, and he'd always sing um, uh, Meatloaf. <laughs> what is it with fucking uh, English lads of a certain age and Meatloaf? I don't know. Especially for karaoke. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Love by the Dashboard Light for some reason seems to be the go-to. I've heard Elliot singing it. You know. Yeah, that is weird. Like, how did Meatloaf enter the? This way, you know. I guess because he's like aspirational, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> is he? Well, yeah. We're, we're never going to be Channing Tatum, but we might be able to be Meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most British thing ever. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you run a hotel? Are you like a really famous hotelier? No, no, Basil Fawlty. <laughs> yeah. Set my my limitations very very low. Look at this fucking piece of shit first roll. Yeah. This was on the black lad. Oh, the black lad. lad. Black lad. <laughs> Whoops. At least it was the black 
lad. It was a block though, so he can just block this guy and then blitz and then clear anyway. So it's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not. It's not the worst. Um, but uh, yeah, reliant on the rest of the loaders. Mm -hmm. It's always funny. You can tell Agralius is getting a bit pissed off with all of this by the fact that like <laughs> you rolled a three die and then just waited for ages deciding what to do about it. Yeah, is this going to be a three yeah. D here? Uh, well, it should be right. Well, it's and, and don't tricky. Think, yeah, it's not easy to make the three. No, bit. it's not. Yeah, I'm not sure it was worth it. And this is this guy got sure feet rather than sprint. He does, yeah. Ah, so yeah, then that's not so bad, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's probably worth making it three. Bit. Hmm. Seeing as he's just triple down, I guess he, you know, he's pretty wary yeah. of the double down. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And finds the pow. Mm. So that's pretty good. Can get this uh, this nice 2D here. Yep. And gets the gets the pu required pushes. I mean, you don't need pushes on both, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, has. yeah. And here we go. So double this GFI. Is, this is pretty tricky. Yeah, double GFI. So 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. No, it does. Oh, oh. Well, he's got the rerolls put into this one. But uh, still, you know, plenty of stuff to go. And that's really rough. And, yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I think that was Please. too early in the chain. Like, and it obviously was it too was, early because yeah. he filled the very next roll. But, like, yeah. it was a 2 plus handoff. There was a 2 plus throw, a 3 plus land, probably. And then 2 plus dodges. Yeah, and through then 2 tackles, plus dodges. So. Yeah. So he, pro he probably did need an extra reroll there. But, I mean, obviously, he got, that was brutal, wasn't it? Two GFIs filled and ball. It's really unlucky. Yeah, really. Oh, he did have a chef. It just must have stolen none. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so he literally had a reroll that just. He had a chef that didn't steal any. Well, there you go. Sorry, YouTube. Oh, no, it stole one. Also, so PC had three. That's not like a PC team at all, is it? So he must have had loads of cash PC and went up to three rerolls plus leader. Uh, we we he just never bothered getting back down off of off three when he bought his leader. Really, that's not uh, like a PC team. It's, is it? not, it's normally no, it to was, death. Uh, I tell you, the reason was because he was trying to get this team finished overall. Uh, wanted to get a, uh, the um, rookie uh, carrier um, up to scratch, and his ball carrier at the time had uh, dodge and no block, and he had to take leader early. He thought. Mm. Uh, so he played with the three rerolls plus, so that he could, until he got block on his carrier. Wow. That's mm. wild, isn't it? Four rerolls is a lot, but obviously I mean, fantastic against flings. Amazing against flings. And, uh, yeah. And unlike PC, we should say. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he would rarely, uh, rarely have that many. A, that's 30k bloat, basically. Yeah. yeah. Or 50k in this case. Yep. A little duck. <sighs> Why are dwarfs fucking rerolls so cheap? That's Why is everything about them so so cheap? Um, it's it's because of the fluff, isn't it, of that they're uh, they're, they're good organized. at they drill. Yeah, they they drill at training. Yeah, they, they go to training and do it. Unlike necromantic, who you can't get trying to herd a bag of cats. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, that is literally it, though, isn't it? Like it's so stupid that like that's the thing. But what it means is all the kind of crap teams have expensive rerolls, and the good teams have cheap rerolls. It's so dumb. Yeah. I mean, is it? it, it I, I always remember reading that as the reasoning behind it, but I don't know if that was also just a way of them being able to justify it for team balancing effects. But it does seem like, I mean, you know, uh, well, there was that all of that discussion when we saw the corn roster and we were going like, well, these guys are absolutely fucking unplayable if they cost seventy, if their rerolls are seventy k, mm. uh, which was what the Nurgle ones were. Mm. And uh, then when we realized they were sixty k, it was kind of well, okay, fair enough, you're, they're all right. Um, why Nurgle are still 70 is anybody's guess. Yeah. Because they did not need to get anywhere any more shafted. Yeah. It's just dumb. It's just it's just dumb, isn't it? Like there's it's definitely not done for balance because the ball is completely imbalanced anyway, isn't it? So I guess you could say it's done yep. for imbalance. Yeah, which is fair. Yep. But it's the not. game's not supposed to be balanced, yep. yeah. But it's and not. We shouldn't it's be just, obsessing over it. It's just yeah, exactly. It's just a cop out. Like it's it's all cop outs mm -hmm. that people, you know, lie to themselves. Games mm. Workshop have never, ever, ever cared about balance in any way. Like, they haven't deliberately yeah. made it unbalanced. They haven't deliberately made it balanced. They haven't done anything. They've just gone, la, 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 la. Here, minimum wage guy, make some rules for this shitty game we don't care about. La, 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 yeah. la. And that is literally as much thought has gone into it, yeah. period. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, 
Unless they have a new toy they want to sell. No, even then they just don't it, care. Like, it doesn't well, they make matter. That, they make that much better than they the don't. other things. They don't. They right. literally do not. There's well, been... well, not, in, not in Blood Bowl, but they do in other games. No, they don't. No, they don't. Literally, they don't. They, they've done accidentally sometimes, and sometimes... Okay. Do you remember all the Dark Angel flyers that were just trash? They just well, no, but they they became fucking amazing for an edition. Well, okay, but they were yeah. they were so trash the Dark Angels yep. ones, yep. and then like yep. oh, you know obviously the Necrons were like the Necrons was really good. They just happened to be really yep. good though, you know. Like I'm I'm a hundred percent certain that mm. all of the hits and misses were Ooh. just random. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I guess something like the occasional one will be on purpose, right? Like Riptides and yep. Wraith Lords. All of the new primary stuff was uh, already the new primary Lords. stuff as it was released was just fucking stupid. Because mm. um, you obviously had to have that and you could take three of them in your army so you buy three. And how much are they? Uh, they used to cost, well, you know, you'd be able to get a squad of lads for like 25 quid and uh, no, these are 42 unit, forty two pounds 50 per e each unit mm -hmm. which is one guy on a, on a bike. Wow. And you need three of them. To be competitive, wow. and then we'll release a uh, balance update in six months, and uh, it'll be shit. Yep. Yeah, I think that's a good idea isn't <laughs> for them. Yeah. But no, it's 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 a funny old game, honestly. Like because the the thing is, like Dreadnoughts have always been one of the best sellers, despite you yeah. know, usually being shit. Like, yeah. There have been occasional yeah. Dreadnoughts that were good, and occasional rule sets <laughs> where Dreadnoughts were better, but. Yeah. In general, Dreadnoughts have been shit, and they've just yeah. always consistently been a, a top seller because they're fucking cool and look they're good. They're <laughs> really cool, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, but you can use the Forge World ones now in 40k, so they're they're really cool and they're very popular. Yeah, yeah. Contemptor Dreads and the the Dread Dorito Dread Dorito, yeah, which has yeah. fucking guns on top of guns on top of guns. It's it looks like a it looks like a Photoshop of what somebody do if they went put as many guns as you can on a dreadnought. Yeah, yeah. And they did. Yeah. And it's fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, Pedro. I mean, that's essentially what I did when when they they brought out these things. Um, or oh, <laughs> Hyperios uh, launches, they were called. And yep. they were like so expensive from from Forge World, and I just yep. made my own out of cardboard and stuff and. They look nice. almost as good as the real thing, and they're on mm -hmm. the right size bases. And uh, so yeah. proxying. Yeah, I did do that. Yeah, I did do that. Right. Yeah, cool. Yeah. But it's not in Blood Bowl, so it doesn't matter. It's a totally well, they looked exactly like what they were meant to be. Uh huh. Uh huh. They they, they weren't hero clips. Oh oh okay. Cool. They were they weren't they, you yeah, know no, it wasn't no, like no, Doctor yeah, Strange no, no. is totally a vampire. Different. Yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Totally different thing. Yeah, I didn't I didn't use I didn't use hero clips to represent launches, you know. I would much rather fucking have hero clicks that are easily identifiable than fucking some guy makes. Oh, I made this out of cardboard because I'm really cheap. Wow. Like. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but Not you know, really cheap. Fine. They're like six. Yeah, they yeah. were sixty quid each or something. You know, like literally yeah. sixty quid each, and and you and you want twelve in your army. Mhm. Mm you want me? You want me to spend seven hundred and twenty pound? And this no, was like not. this was like That's ten years ago as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Forge World stuff is ridiculous. Mm. Bonkers. Yeah. No, by all means, proxy away. See, I don't have a problem with it. That's the mm. point. <laughs> I made this out of cardboard because I spent all my money at Greg's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I it's because it was insane. I wish we had a Greg's. I wish we had a, with Greg's here. Greg's here would be great. Mm. How do you could. spend all your money in Greg's though? Isn't Greg's cheap? Yeah, but you just eat a lot, right? Just look at look yeah, at okay, <laughs> look at the sky. What's it? Forge World, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll see how much they cost. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Satterfield. I think they've changed. Them. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Or maybe they don't sell them anymore. The Hyperios? Yeah. Yeah, no, they're not a thing anymore. Wow, diced. Yeah. Mm. What are you going to do with all of that cardboard? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you had spent 720 quid on them. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Jeez, how many guns is sausage rolls and steak bakes? A steak bakes about the same size as a rhino, isn't it? <laughs> it's actually a yeah, pretty much. 
<laughs> just two two steak bakes to be a to be a rhino would be brilliant. I have at a at a at a thing when very drunk when gaming with my local gaming group um uh, used a lemon rus, <laughs> <laughs> which, which was a lemon <laughs> with, with the cigarette sellotape to the top of it. <laughs> this is very fun. Yeah, just because it was obviously stupid. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Render. There's there's my Discord, which is the best. Um, others may, might be nicer. Others might be nicer, but mine's the best. <laughs> uh, for example, you'll get the best advice, like when Red Hair says, "I've got a horrible matchup. What what should I do?" I say, "You should uninstall Blood Bowl. Never play again." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good advice. Well, welcome along to welcome along to Twitch Render. Really great to have you. The community is really really nice, and uh, yeah, do join uh, the Discord links there. Uh, we'll answer all your questions. There's a couple of us who'll actually give you legitimate answers. Just ignore the chat. Yes. Yeah. But uh, welcome along, man. Uh, it's it does a, it's a really nice community on Twitch. And uh, any questions at all, just ask. Yeah. <laughs> It's what Jim meant to say. Yeah, thanks. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> like the Jim Whisperer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could be my translator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, quit the league. It's all bubble. Just watch casts. Yeah. Correct. Um... Do you, know what, do you know what else about the Hyperius? They fucking nerfed them as well. They nerfed them in the ground uh, shortly after I built them. So yeah. I felt doubly happy. I like, so even though they don't sell them now at, at all anyway, like they mm -hmm. absolutely nerfed them to death straight afterwards anyway. So it's all right. I felt justified in not spending £720. Yeah, they've, they've done it a bunch of times. Um, there was uh, just after... Yeah, so when the one of the additions came out and Nurgle got a cool new tank called a Plague Burst Crawler and uh, it was amazing and uh, you could run nine of them uh, so a bunch of the lads bought nine of them because they were fucking ridiculous and then uh, about uh, well like in between the usual FAQs uh, they came out with a thing saying you can only take three of any vehicle <laughs> uh, and they were like well anybody want to buy these and everybody's like no I already own six more than I need <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice, nice big sale on Plague Burst Crawlers. Mm. I mean, to be, to be fair, the Hyperius ones, they, they didn't actually nerf Hyperius launchers, they just nerfed Interceptor. Um, there was a yes. thing, it was, or Skyfire, Sky, they, I Skyfire, guess they nerfed yeah. Skyfire rather than Interceptor. But there was a thing, there was a thing where Sky, if you had Skyfire, you could shoot at things in the air or things on the ground with the slight, like, you know, the same, on the same roll. With the same, on the same roll, yeah. And then they made it so that Skyfire could only with shoot only on at six, things in the sky. Things in the ground, or, or sixes at the ground, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so the Hyperius launchers that had Interceptor and Skyfire became, as the they were literally the only counter in the entire game to flyers. <laughs> uh, yep. Um, oh, oh, wow. Jesus, these fucking dice have been absolutely atrocious. They have, yeah. Imagine, like, playing against dwarves and getting, like, with flings and getting yeah. diced. Yeah, and PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck me. And like doing the safe play there, right? Like the greedy yeah. play was to blitz without block to to get yeah. both trees out in front, and instead he does like the 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 like less good, safer thing, like your know, less payoff. Um, and then and we we all know he's gonna roll a one on. He's, he's gonna roll a one on this. It's basically right? guaranteed. Well, he could it's can he punch? He can punch him. He can. Just, yeah, but he stand yeah. firm, right? Oh yeah. 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 So maybe you just dodge off. Well, no, it's just still punch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still punch. You can punch now. Yeah, there you go. Hey! We're fine. Oh, there's one coming. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just not there. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. That's pretty helpful. Ooh! I know. Well, at least the ball isn't on the ground this turn. Yeah. So he's, that's something. It is. We still have this other fella to I'd rather be one behind here. The cage, this is and there's the one. There. Yeah, there you're go. right. There's the <laughs> one. Next dice roll. <laughs> Next, Next dice flipping roll. dice roll. Oh, one it's into it's Kaz. It's... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, God. Oh, what a stupid game. <laughs> is Render still here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can see hard. Get out. Save things. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the 
Tommy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why you want you just want to be watching it because then you can laugh mm. and not be playing it where you just want to cry. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He still has the ways. He can always console yep. himself with a self bolt at the end of the match. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's my problem, Renda, really. <laughs> Probably most of our problems, isn't it? Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. No, we do not, Red Hair. No, we don't value people depending on their win rate. I mean, no. we either people... We don't value people depending on the win rate at all, right? People are either people... <laughs> don't value people they're, at all. They're, they're either people with a 70% plus win rate, or they're not yeah. people if they don't have a 70% win rate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yes, he does the dodge off here, right? I don't know if I just punch. Push. Okay, he does do the dodge off. Well, I think he was thinking because he was just thinking of punching. I think he was working out whether there was anything else he wanted to do and whether he needed to save his reroll for this or not. Yeah. I but think he was thinking. Pushes. I was thinking. I think he was thinking about not going for it. But yeah, maybe he was thinking about using the reroll. Because mm -hmm. uh, he can tie down this, and well, I mean, he can hope that there's no um, that there's some roots happen. Mm. Because the flings are down to one reroll now, because of their triple skulls and double skulls and what have you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are you, Satter? You're a guy with a really nice dwarf collection that can't play <laughs> fantasy anymore. <laughs> Whew. Look at that! Just scraping in, just scraping into some, <laughs> scraping into human category there. <laughs> After the last few seasons have been terrible. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> we might have to lower the threshold if I carry on being crap. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> I dare to think what I would be. Given my win rate in CCL. Oh dear. <laughs> Scraping into the human race. <laughs> Just about. You make me a dwarf or something. <laughs> wow. Not even a good dwarf. No WA dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. A lineman, not a long beard. Yeah. Stupid blockers. Yeah. yeah. I've got armbar! <laughs> Do we just go for the score this turn? Is he in range? Should he have been in range if he isn't? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I wonder if he... Oh, I guess he couldn't be because he had no re-rolls and he just had to go behind those two. Oh, well, he can chain him, in fact. Oh, yeah. Oh, Not fucking he hell. Re-rolled into another fucking take route. Wow. Oh, my God. How diced. Like, that was literally the play. Yep. And there's his blitz action gone as well. Yep. Well, fuck... Everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus god! Christ. I mean, you know, he asks for it a bit by using, you know, halflings. But that's like that's got to be the worst, hasn't it? To like to get dwarves in the first round, <laughs> like the literal worst possible matchup, and then getting PC, and then yeah. getting diced. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh my gosh! Fourteen viewers. That's that's wild. It's my um, it's my Irish accent. They heard it was on. Yeah, there also must be nobody else streaming Blood Bowl. Oh, I fucking took an agility <laughs> bust on that guy as well. Uh, yeah, the lads are playing um, uh, back back for dead, back for dead. I don't know. Back for called. blood. Back for blood. That's it. Yeah. Uh, that explains it. There's literally nobody else <laughs> playing. Blood. There's no, nobody else playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> Great to see you, Walid. Thanks for dropping drop by. Yeah. Hello. Yep. And indeed, uh, twice hopped, getting the old uh, edge bust on your edge up fling, just to uh, just in case he wanted to play it in open. Yep. <laughs> yep. And now PC can can breathe out. <clears throat> mhm. Mm and he's uh, he's essentially assured of the victory now. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, you know, <laughs> I was about to make a joke about PC being able to play this with his eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> Because yes. <laughs> he plays with his eyes closed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Just the surf. Beautiful play there. Yep. <laughs> oh, good shout, Red Hair. Good shout. Near his recent his recent player has reached near human levels. 
<laughs> Recent win rate approaching human. <laughs> But yeah, if anybody out there is, to, we're not serious. You you shouldn't judge anything by their win by by your win percentage. Your your your, your win percentage doesn't matter a shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, just yeah. just play the game. If you're enjoying playing the game, then play the game. If you give a shit about your win percentage all of the time, you're you're looking at a different aspect of the game. If you're enjoying playing it, then just play it. Have fun. That's the whole purpose. It's a game. Wow. We take it very very seriously, and we like talking about it and all the rest of it, but. You should also just enjoy the game. I'm stunned. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't define your entire existence by your win rate at a, at a, at a stupid little children's <laughs> dice game. <laughs> it's fucking hot takes from Kalon here, like fucking hell. <laughs> My entire worldview has been shattered. <laughs> just shattered. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he did oh. the PCs with no reroll. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Nah, I guess. I, I guess one well. GFI means that he can't get pushed into the tree. Yeah. Which is which is a concern. So it's I guess an, it, it does matter. Yeah. Yeah, that one. That one's all he one. needs. One's all he needs. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, Willow can get the punch right. Yeah, but he just doesn't care about Willow, right? He only cares. No. He only cares about the uh, about the trees. About the tree. Because the the tree dice, the tree would be given him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just like fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, I'm out. Firm guy. Fuck you. <laughs> firm guy you had there. <laughs> <laughs> Bolt him or oh, fireball him. Fireball him. Fireball him, Agrelius. Oh, dub school. Oh, See, that's Jesus. why I didn't give a shit about. Uh, yeah. Willow. But um. Didn't even didn't even die though, Willow. Yeah. Oh. He does have the wizard. Use your wizard before you go out of Grimace. Mm. <laughs> uh, can he score? He can score. Yep. <laughs> oh, he, really... he could do that. He could do that for a laugh one time, couldn't he? The way he does the uh, he does the April Fools, doesn't he? Where everything returns Burt's, which is pretty great. Oh, that's, that's really I, fun. I, I do. I do enjoy April Fools' Day returning Burt's for everybody. Yes. But um, yeah, that would be quite good if it just did, if it just returned human art. <laughs> Human art, not human. Yeah. Uh, subhuman, subhuman. Thing. Well, that 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 gets dodgy though, doesn't it? That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, sure, of course. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. We can pretend it's a like a D and D type tag. Yeah. Punk. Yeah, Grealius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch the VOD. I mean, there's no yeah. criticism, but there's there's certainly no. nothing. No comments on the game apart from imagine playing flings, getting dwarves. It's PC with dwarves, and then you get diced, <laughs> and then and then just diced to shit. <laughs> yeah, diced to yeah. absolute shit. Yeah, <laughs> this is as bad as it gets, pretty much. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Yeah, yeah GG. Oh yeah, I hear that they made all of the races equal in in D and D, so that it was you know fair and stuff. And it's like that's the whole point, oh, though. The dwarves really? are different from elves, isn't it? Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, they are literally different. It's not about race in in color of skin, is it? It's they're actual different. They're like literal different races, aren't they? Yeah, they're like, actually different races. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I must read up about that. Uh, I w I wasn't aware. It hadn't occurred to me. But thank you very much, Ali, for. Uh, for pointing it out, I will go and uh, and do some research on that because mm. it's good to uh, not offend if possible. <laughs> you lost a hundred dollars on this game. Ouch! How? Well, that's, uh, yeah. did, you, did you bet PC would win three nil? Uh, yeah, fair point to Grelius. I suppose there wasn't a huge... It was just the amount of ones and double skulls and triple skulls that you were rolling were just pretty shit. And, uh, yeah, just not really able to do a huge amount. Yeah. Uh, it's a shit matchup um, against a very, very good coach. And uh, and the dice just weren't helpful at all either. So, I mean, no comments on how you played. I think you played fine. You did everything, you know, the way it should have been played, really. Um, just didn't work yeah
<laughs> like, for example, the the one turn, right? With the <laughs> the triple down, so then the yeah. the three D, the two D, and then instant, you know, two ones out of three GFIs and stuff. Brutal. Yeah, Ali Raider. Yeah, I, yeah, I heard that. I hear that. I hear that. That's what I hear. Which seems, mm -hmm. which seems insane, right? Like that seems really insane when they're like fully different species. That's it. Yeah, that's it. maybe species are better than thing than race, but I don't know. Like they're just different yeah. creatures, aren't they? Like it seems insane. They like, are. Yeah, they're different creatures. Yeah. Yeah, like it seems insane to be like, oh, it's racist. Like, but it's not like races in real life, is it? It's not races of humans. It's just different animals. <laughs> like what the well, hell? I mean, also kind of you know the fact that some uh, some ra some races are specifically racist towards other races is also kind of part of the lore, which is kind of funny because there's a teaching moment within that uh, mm. of the fact that uh, it's not appropriate for you to be like that. Like humans being complete xenophobes is uh, is a recurring trait um, because it teaches us to be more in touch with our uh, our, our humanity and, uh, and and not be like that mm. gets it on the retry and you yeah. fuck off to the corner and is out of range for anybody yep wow yeah. so yeah pretty fantastic uh, result for pc here um yeah. and uh, yeah your heart goes out to Gralius. sorry buddy yeah, and he's yeah, perfect result, isn't it? Damage free, used his reroll and badly hurt. You know, competitive. Yeah, but um, you know, so that paid off. Paid off that he that he did the. It did because he had the, the 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 right guys all around the place, and uh, yeah, it just it just wasn't to be. So yeah, GGS. Oh, another nice little foul coming There's in here. One last chance. One last chance to leave a mark. <laughs> mm -hmm. Other than a nice. skid mark. <laughs> a nice lad to get rid of as well. No. Oh. <laughs> Dimmy G, the champ, gets the gets the winning touchdown. Fuah. Fuah. Champ strats. Um yeah. Yeah. Just catching up a chat here. Um Yeah, cool. Pro elves, cool. Hmm. Hmm. Uh so isn't this nice, the lads taking a little bit of time to explain exchange pleasantries uh, yes. before the end of the game and uh, and talk through the ups and downs and what was good and what wasn't. Yes. And uh now he's gonna punch uh Willow. What was good? PC. Oh, no, everything. <laughs> what was what was good for you, Agrelius? Nothing. <laughs> that guy's on, on twenty eight points as well, that's why he went for the last, the it, last ended of, it, it, it ended eventually. <laughs> it did. Yeah. Favorite bit was when I got to turn it off and not play football. Yeah. <laughs> Given that you spent the last hour and a half not playing Blood Bowl as well, which is pretty shit. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't as bad as the uh, Lizard game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah to be fair. Awesome. To be fair, it could have been a worse dice. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, it could have been a worse dice. I think it was, yeah. Well, just re-rolled my winnings into a one. Totally diced. Oh, <laughs> oh PC. My heart bleeds for never, you, man. Never lucky. So a two went down to a one. I've only got 100k in the bank. Oh, sake. Never lucky. The most <laughs> dice man in Blood Bowl. Here he is. And my good runner MVP'd as well, so that's not very useful. That's that but actually isn't. Well, oh, that's pretty. Useful. That's pretty good though, actually, right? Because then when he scores two touchdowns in the next match, he'll. he'll, he'll yeah, play then he'll get another pointless skill, so perhaps kick or something. Yeah. Kick, kick off return, return. right? Yeah, yeah, kick off return most likely. Depends if they get through the next round and what we face, and if he lives. Yeah. Uh, well, look, that all went well, pretty well. Well done, that? Purple Chest. Yeah, that was a uh, really, really. Uh, I mean, it was a, it was it was a pretty one-sided game. Unfortunately, yes. Gralius not being able to get any of the dice to work no, in his favour outside of a. Yeah. I mean, exactly. lovely team, two beautiful flings on it. Um, I I don't like Willow, and I thought when he hired Willow, I thought, Ray. Um, I'd have been more frightened by bribes or mm. um, perhaps even just an apo to keep those nice flings alive. Hmm. Um, but it did mean that, you know, on the line of scrimmage, two trees can take on a, a dwarf and Willow can try and take a third one. So it's, it does make some sense, but she just never pays off, as far as I'm concerned. 
Yeah, mm. she's uh, she, she's she's fine for her price cost, but she's just not as good as the other. Yeah, which um, is cheap. Stars. She's terrible. Yes. <laughs> um, and I was really lucky, you know, the trees didn't remove too many dwarves, so I thought obviously I'd risk the apo on the. Um, it was a badly hurt, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, yeah. And uh, yeah. but it, he was such an absolute nuisance, and uh, I did say that Igrelius yes. was putting a lot of effort into getting rid of him because of what a nuisance yeah. he was. Absolutely, and you need your tackle for that one turn, you know, backline. Yeah, because you know, it was a two plus for that fling to go anywhere. So at least you've got to remove its touch. This is it. Yeah, if only, so if yeah, only... Keeping, keeping numbers for that that turn eight seemed vital too. But I was really lucky that one turn it always lands in range for me. Always. I mean, just every <laughs> single damn time, it's like half the field doesn't exist. Yeah, um, I've just got a reply. It still, it still failed, didn't it? I mean, I've, it just didn't get dice at any point. I've got a reply to Agrelius here. The only criticism we had for you was at the start of the game for taking Willow instead of taking uh, a, a, a halfling chef because when we saw four rerolls for the dwarves, we thought there mustn't have been a halfling chef. And then, like, well, it did something a little uncharacteristic, to me, And I, I thought about the game and I decided that buying a, a third reroll and then would lead to making four. Then I'd always oh. definitely have one with the leader, and there was a good chance I'd retain at least one. I mm. actually thought that you, I, had, I, had, I, had, I thought that you had back. three. Uh, I actually gave an explanation for why you had three rostered still, um, but uh, I hadn't realised that you did in fact buy a reroll before. Yeah, you I bought a reroll and I bought Dimmy G, the Line Dwarf, um, figuring out <laughs> you who scored on at some point. Well, yeah. why not? Yeah, um, I, I figured, and I, you know, I nearly tried to do it on a. Blitzer, but I didn't have anyone in range that was sort of better to score on than Dimmy, and if he'd MVP'd, that would have been another guard, which could Indeed. be useful. Yeah, 100%. So, um, yeah, I mean, I bought a 12th because I thought, you know, the trees are going to take at least one dwarf out, if not more. And yeah. I bought another reroll because I thought he's definitely going to have a chef, or else yeah. he's full, and he did. And he took one in the first half, I think only one in the second half, so I was long yeah. on rerolls, which, you know, a tight little dwarf team, me, long on rerolls, flings, it's, it's not good, is it? No, no, it really isn't. No, it yeah. It was yeah, not good aside, I, I have some concept of what I'm doing with dwarves, I feel. <laughs> yeah, it was just it trying was. to monitor for where the wizard would come. That's always a worry, isn't it? It is, yeah. Definitely something you have to think about. Um, or fling and a wizard around. It's always a worry. But I was, I was really lucky. I thought you should have used it about three times in the first half. When the game was still in the balance, I thought he left it way, way too late. Yeah, but his his trees were out of position, weren't they? And, they were. Like that was the that was the thing. Needed. Well, I was yeah. throwing dwarves into keeping them out of position. That was yeah. you know a risk I took, and luckily it paid off. Yeah, so that was. Sometimes you do have to put a a magnet on the um, idiot magnet. Indeed. <laughs> Listen to me being nice, in case you're still YouTubing. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still well I'm done. still YouTubing. Yep. <laughs> the twat magnet, we can see it, it's okay. Okay, so yeah, sometimes you have to drop a twat on the twat magnet for a bit. Even if it's a good quality thing, I mean, that stand for got through some work until it got injured, didn't it? Mm. Unbelievable. Like, uh, I, I did say, like, he was he was putting some effort into getting rid of it because it was such a pivotal piece, but uh, but its eventual removal uh, was, uh, you know, after it had soaked up the trees for a good couple of turns. Yeah. I mean, he, he played me like a fiddle, you know, isolate some dwarves by giving mm. me some flings to go and hit and give me some space, knowing that I would go piling forwards. And then I'm yeah. sure the tree was, the plan was that the mobile trees come monster my cage. But so I figured, well, let's try and stop that. The yes. thing is, the thing is with, the, with the, this is what I observed, like, even if they stop, like, even if they force you in early, it doesn't make that much difference, right? Because, yeah, as 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 Agrelia said, the one turn is, like, such a decent chance with the two edge four flings that, yeah. like, realistically, giving himself even four turns to score isn't that much of an improvement, is it? Do you know what I mean? So, like... I mean, no, I mean, if, if it was tough, I wouldn't have bothered. But uh, you say that, I mean, there's still got short little legs, bless him, and a long distance to cover. I mean, I really like the fact that he's taking sure feet For on one. For fuck's sake, Tony! It really helps feed the Stop other one, which is why shit. he's got it doing the feeding, not doing the um, the actual The actual rubbing. scoring, yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, I'm sure he'd love sure feet on both of them. I do it a lot with goblins, take sure feet first and then extend it to sprint. I mean, otherwise you're just asking to kill it, because yes. grass hurts. Yeah, m to... movement five is really slow, right? Like, it's different with, with, with like, with high elf catches and stuff right you like you take the sprint because it's getting to the like that next level that you can't go 
Otherwise, sprint first there makes total sense because you're not going to often GFI. But when you do, you might have to go really far. Whereas with flings, you know, move five is terrible. So making them kind of move seven is, is really good, isn't it? So, yeah. And he was in possession of the ball at that stage. Uh, he had the... the because uh, you, you, you managed to dodge off with your blitzer to come back and get the hit. The push meant that there was a, a T-shaped formed and uh, he had the as assist in place for the tree to do the blitz and, uh, and won the... Take route, oh, to, to, to yeah, push the fling in range. Yes, I saw yes. that late. Um, yeah. That was what I was wondering, if there was anything I could do with my final piece to close that off. And there yeah. really wasn't. I mean, I could have put him yet further into the, the mix, but that just meant there was a chance to flank out to the centre field. Yes, or, or indeed just lead, had, so. had not followed maybe, but, um, but yeah, it did. It did. It was... I mean, Willow that is was surprisingly brush. agile for a tree. She's uh, AG3, isn't she? Yeah, she's, yeah, she's AG3. Yeah, yeah I thought she was too as well. You can. Yeah, you can, yeah. And the sidestep's pretty handy as well if you can get it into work because, I mean, you do end up clumped quite a bit uh, when you're playing against dwarves. So being able to make an appropriate hit to get her to shove into a position more beneficial to, this, to the game state yeah. is, uh, I mean, is I, another I just, reason I had, she's okay. I had everything at Gradius tried seemed to fail and my dice yeah. were very good uh, yes. pretty much universally. I, yeah. I mean, I did feel in the first half the trees behaved very well despite me sort of controlling them. They behaved well. In the second half, they just really didn't, did they? So no, they didn't, no. Um, you know, yeah, there was a couple of people one birds, good half. Yeah. I mean, the first half there was more pressure than I think it may have looked looking at the game state because there was a couple of times where if the first tree here had worked and removed the yeah. stand guy, the yeah. other tree could have made itself a real pain in the turns. Um, like yeah, Gradius is saying, I think there was even one. There may even have been a if he could have got out without breaking tackle, there could have been a break tackle ball hit on. Yeah, and of course it is a blodge balls carrier, so that that helps a little, but. And it would have been two go for it. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of dice to roll, but still, it's there. It's still there, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it didn't yeah, take no, root, it, though, Aurelius, right? That's what you're saying, didn't take root. Yeah, it didn't take yeah, root. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't it didn't remove a dwarf every turn, which obviously is what you're looking for from a block dream. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it, they didn't take root. They didn't... Um, there was a couple of, uh, of three dice that weren't good for you, wasn't there? But, yeah, but, they, yeah, were, yeah, they were a terrible. Few, yeah. they were, they were <laughs> terrible. I've said all along I've had the dice, Jimmy. It's, 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 yeah, no, 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 of course. Yeah. I'm not hiding from that. Yeah. And it's one of those games that, you know, I mean, there's nothing to win there for me, is it? You know, what do I now do? You get to say, I'm the play, best coach in the play world. The, I've been... Play I've the been trumpets, I've beaten the flings. I mean, it's yeah. not... Sure, yeah. people aren't going to queue 10 hours to walk past that, are they? No, but all, yeah. all in, I, I think you played a great game. Well done, PC, and uh, well done to Agrelius as well. well I done. think, uh, yeah, well done they, to Agrelius for getting that lovely team in. And, uh, yeah, well lovely played. team, and uh, play, yeah. played really well. Just wasn't, uh, I mean, it was a tr tough matchup up against a very experienced and great coach, and uh, and the dice just really didn't give you the rub, the green that you Maybe probably needed to, to, to get up. I'm trying to give you a passive compliment, um, <laughs> I'm not taking it. Um, okay, fair enough. No, I thought he, I thought he did all the right things. They just didn't work, and that's blood ball sometimes. Isn't it? Yeah, that's there it. There you go. There you go. Thank you very much, Kalon and PC. Absolutely glorious having you both on. Pleasure. Lovely to drop in. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>